This program is designed to provide general information with regards to the subject matters covered. This information is given with the understanding that neither the hosts, guests, sponsors, or station are engaged in rendering any specific and personal medical, financial, legal, counseling, professional service, or any advice. You should seek the services of competent professionals before applying or trying any suggested ideas. Hey there, it's Brian, Sebastian, movie Hello, reviews and more, obviously. If it's Tuesday, that means we're streaming live around the world on over 103 outlets. I had to think about that worldwide, obviously. So, uh, streaming on Worldwide TV Network, I2247 out of Franklin, Tennessee, uh, the Worldwide TV Network, and Talk for Media TV Radio Podcasting, and K4HD Radio in Podcasting. I like how Sarah just pops up. She's always just like that. But it's one of these things where, you know what? Uh, Vocally Tosh from Miami, Florida is here. And she looks good. Her hair looks really good. And she's wearing this beautiful blue, whatever she has there. <laughs> Howard is always dapper because Howard's getting so many compliments. Howard, you don't know this. You're going to get hired just because of the way that you look. Because each week, every time I put up every the show on Wednesday, everybody's just admiring the way you look. We don't look anything like Howard does. He looks better than the women do half the time. Talk about that one. All the way from Nashville, Tennessee. The one and only Howard Wiggins. So, nonstop Terry Marie. This one, this woman is growing. All right, Hi. so Terry spent eight years in growing. Eight years in going yes. that she's been with me. Who would have known? I did not see that one coming, but I am very, very happy. And I'm most proud of what she's been doing. Uh, the one and only nonstop Terry Marie. From Sherman Oaks, California now. Yeah. I have a I have somebody who wants to say hi. This is this is Lily. <laughs> she just had surgery, so she she wants to sit on my lap. She had hernery hernery surgery uh, last week, so she's miserable because she's got to wear this comb. But I just thought oh. she would like say hi to everybody. So say oh. hi, Lily. <laughs> hey, we're dog we're dog lovers on here, yes. aren't we? Amy? Yes. So here's yes. the other thing. <laughs> we got to talk about this because I've been waiting for this show for a long time. Not only to have Jennifer on and bring Sarah back, mm -hmm. but also Amy. So right. we got to talk about Bubble Hut Tents and yes. Bubble Hut Cottage. It's one of those things where a brand design, manufacturer of American brand of bubble tents. They're sleek. They're simple. Woman-owned, inventor. She's a pioneer in the glamping world. She's a partnership with Airbnb. She's an accomplished entrepreneur, female founder, CEO, our one and only, our friend, the one and only Amy Kaiserman. Aw, yeah. hi, Amy. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me back. I, it's good to see you guys, who, you know, who I haven't seen in a while, and it's nice to meet all of you new faces. I'm excited to get to know each one of you. Um, but yeah, I'm Amy Kaiserman of Bubble Huts. Um, as he said, you know, I created a brand and my own design of glamping tents, which is now a very popular word. <laughs> you know, I started mm -hmm. this almost 10 years ago. Um, I've sold my product all over the world. I've worked with large and small companies. I've, I've done so much through it. It's amazing. But I am the only U.S. manufacturer. I'm proud to say all of my product is USA made. I make it in Glendale, Arizona. Um, and I, woman, woman owned. We got to always throw that woman. in there. American made. Very, very yeah. important. There's only one of a kind. Terry, myself, and Tasha have been mm -hmm. inside that doing interviews. Yeah. But Amy, hold that thought. We're going to come right back. She's that excited because it's been a long time. So, Jennifer, we got to talk about you. I love the fact that she's a child of God. I really like that one. She's, you know, she really is. Let's, let's say this. Jennifer, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm going to let you say it. She really is an inventor also. She's that singer, but she's a really a songwriter. I love the fact that she has this. I love anything that says a butterfly, mm -hmm. and you can just shine oh, wow. like that. 
So when you have that virtual rehab and that Arise Broken Wing, and you've got all those other things. Look at that photo. Bring the, Rebel, go back beautiful. to that photo. Isn't that a great photo of her? Just gorgeous. It's beautiful. Jennifer, talk about who you are and why you're here. And then so Howard was nice enough to be our designated driver in December. Yes. So if it weren't for Howard, we had a great time because of that. Jennifer, say who you are and where you're coming from. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for having me on Movie Reviews and More. I'm here in Lubbock, Texas, and I'm kind of a hodgepodge of different things. I am in the medical field. I'm an acute mm -hmm. care speech language pathologist, and I work in a hospital, mainly in the intensive care unit, ER, with patients who are very, very sick. And through working in that environment, I have had great opportunities to experience uh, people who are having medical conditions in other countries, people who have a need. And so through my compassion for people nationally and internationally, I established a nonprofit organization. The artistic arm of that nonprofit organization is my music business, which is Lepidoptera. And that's a broken butterfly, meaning one side is broken, the other side is beautiful, and it's supposed to represent mm -hmm. rising above. And then mm -hmm. my songs that I write are message-driven songs. They are cinematic. They could be a soundtrack, and they're all meant to communicate something important. And then as an inventor, it's just the extension of all those things using creativity to try to come up with products that help people. It's all about helping people. And so the reason why I was really liking this show, because this is about women empowerment. I get criticized for not talking about movies enough. But again, you know what? When you have this brand of like women on here, you know, Terry, Tosh and Sarah, Power and I, we kind of just like fit in to help support. And that's our job when it comes to it at that point. So Sarah Baker. All right. So this is what Sarah did this weekend. Ta you know, Terry, you'll like this. She hosted... The Babes in Toyland White Party in Miami, Florida. She oh, was the host my of that. friend, that's great. Hold on, hold on, Terry. She's got a list of stuff that she does because we she has so much <laughs> stuff we didn't even get to it last time. Uh, uh -huh. Let's see. She's got an article coming out June 16th from uh, R&D in Huffington on her. And I can't wait to read this. This is going to be good. Uh, she's an entrepreneur. She's an investor. Uh, she's worked with some of the top 50 tire companies in the world. Let's see. Facebook, PayPal, Meta. Oh, same thing. Um, who is the other one? Apple. And she is that investor also. So when it comes to that private company, Sarah, in the UK, uh, yacht, yacht cruises, traveling, and private jets. I think she's involved. In that. She does so much stuff that it's hard to list all these things. And she wanted to come back. God knows no why. But I'm glad that she came back because she's going to be part of what we're doing, the one and only Sarah Baker. Hi, guys. Hi, Sarah. Uh, good to see you all again. Hi, Tosh, my neighbor. Hello. Um, Hi. Yeah, <laughs> so we, we have a lot of stuff going on, and some of that has changed and migrated and moved a little bit. I've got some new stuff in the pipeline. And exciting news, Ariana came out today, or yesterday, rather. So oh. when you go post the link, yeah, it's, it's a very exciting article. It's a feature in Thrive Global, which is all about women empowerment, power women, um, how to just be, live your best mm. life and be, you know, everything you can be. Mm. And I loved writing that. I'll talk more about that later. But but yeah, I'm actually starting to branch out uh, into back into singing. I'm also I've got a new startup, Brian, another one. I know another one. Uh, it's wild. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For now, we, I've tabled the uh, the travel business. That's the article, yeah. So that's the, the new one out. Um, and Ariana Strive Global and Authority Magazine. It really, what I loved about this article, I guess I'll, I'll go there, but it was so empowering to write it because it talks about, you know, my experiences, how I got where I got, um, what's been my challenges and also challenges at, of females in the career mm. space as well as mm. home with the family and balancing the dynamics of a relationship and how do you do that and still be successful mm -hmm. in all walks of life and um, you know I'm not perfect but I've definitely learned along the way and if anybody can learn from me I love that so I, I, I would love if you all would take a read if you have a couple of minutes um, 17 to be precise but she asked some great questions about um, 
you know, some of the top traits you think make you successful mm -hmm. and what would you talk to your young, younger self about. Um, and so that's really exciting. And then I will be also on a big podcast next week. It's going to be a live studio audience with uh, some of you might know some of them, but it's on value team, which is a fairly uh, big network. So I'm really excited about that. You know, it's funny, as you know, as Sarah was talking, Amy, I was thinking of you, of the stuff that you went through, some of the challenges that you went through mm -hmm. starting Bubble Huts and everything that, and at the same time, I was thinking of what mm -hmm. Jennifer has doing, because I ha every time I think of Jennifer Howard, I think of her dancing with her husband on the floor for the, the, the party in Tennessee. That's how I think of her. She, she just danced like mm -hmm. Morticia. She just looked so beautiful while her husband was having a great time while how, Howard was dancing the night away with everybody. Is that's that how I think of you each time. <laughs> no, that's I do. A, no, that's a great uh, memory. <laughs> it is. So talk about this. All three of you are inventors, investors, CEOs, women, and this goes back to Tosh and Terry, too, because of what you guys mm -hmm. do. In other words, it's a woman show, and Howard and I don't really exist, mm -hmm. but that's okay. So, <laughs> Jennifer, talk about this. You really are that an inventor in a different way. I'm not sure you get enough credit for that, but also, I love the songs that you've written as a songwriter, and that's the whole thing. She wants more people to know that she's really a songwriter. Yes. Yes. So I'll talk a little bit about my inventions since you brought them forward. I, when I started in speech language pathology uh, 27 years ago, I was doing things in the hospital in the trauma environment mm -hmm. and figuring out that there were things that my patients needed that weren't invented. So mm -hmm. I would come up with things, prototypes, and then I wound up meeting companies that were interested in my prototypes. And so I have invented three different medical devices. Uh, for example, mm. one is, and they're simple. It's, it's like there's a need and the patient needs it. So you figure it out and, and you produce something that can be impactful for somebody at a very difficult time of their life. One of my inventions is a metered straw. It delivers six milliliters of fluid per set for patients who've had strokes and they have trouble controlling the volume coming into their mouth. So basically the straw shuts off and they can drink with a normal straw it, mm. because uh, it looks normal. We put a normal straw on top of the base that meters the flow rate. And, um, and then my uh, most recent invention has been almost a 20 year project of trying to get a patent issued, which we did finally, but it's very technical. In summary, it is a system that allows people with no movement or near absent movement to engage gaming or electronic musical instruments or computers um, by activating the residual function of their motor nerve. And so basically they can be a patient that has no movement like diagnosed with quadriplegia and we put the wireless system on them. And if they think about doing something, then that nerve as related to the motor neuron activates, even though it can't move the leg, it still works. And so I had a patient able to play a part of his electronic piano by just thinking about it. It's very complicated, but it is a virtual uh, system for people who can't move, essentially, um, wow. to engage them in life. And so that patent has issued, and we're just seeking somebody to make that. And that's a little bit about my inventions. My songs are another story. They all tell a message. The first one that I really dug into um, was called Onward. It was uh, anti-racism. Uh, Dear Monster is about sexual assault. And mm -hmm. uh, my most recent one, Let the Enemy Come, is sort of an attitude, spiritual song, kind of good versus evil. Um, and then I have one that we don't have an album cover for yet called Footsteps uh, that I wrote for a friend who lost her son in the military. And I just, I like to write songs that, that are emotional and that ignite other people in some way. You know, Amy, as, as Jennifer was talking, I was going back to you again. I love that photo of her. Just a beautiful photo. I know. The, the hair, the lips, everything. Look, 
amazing and mm -hmm. the microphone oh my god yeah, I exactly seen... <gasps> jennifer the mic got my attention and then i went to the eyes yeah <laughs> <laughs> but amy this is this is one of those things where as uh, sarah and and jennifer were talking about it, i was immediately thinking about you again of how you started bubble huts because it's not easy and and again being one of those that only probably in that glamming world that's not easy what she created and like i said Tosh and, and Terry, well, I was fortunate enough to have you bring it up and put it on the top of the Madame Tussauds building where we had a great time, and that was fun. Talk about how you started that and why it's relevant today and the new product you're talking about. Okay. Well, it's um, Bubble Huts I started almost 10 years ago. Um, it is a glamping structure. I started, when I started it, it wasn't yet popular in the U.S. It was more of something that was happening over in the U.K. and everywhere else but here. So I started selling into the event and advertising companies. My very first client was MTV, which I was really blessed mm -hmm. to have. Um, I kept, you know, just designing, waiting and building the awareness of even glamping in America. I'm actually one of the pioneers in this country. Um, you know, and it, it was a while and it was it was a lot I had to overcome to get to this position where mm -hmm. I'm at right now. Um, I have sold my product worldwide. I've been in the Wall Street Journal. Um, I've been in the Business Journal. You know, I've, I've been in these different articles and in these different publications and everything. You know, but, and as a U.S. manufacturer, a woman too is not an easy thing to be in. <laughs> Let me tell you, you mm -hmm. got to have some real grit in some of this stuff. Um, but, you know, I, I, I've been blessed. I, that's all I can say from the very beginning. And I've met so many wonderful people, have done so many wonderful things. But, you know, the manufacturing side, I like, and I, because I like the designing side of it. I never really liked the, oh, let's cut some fabric, let's sew some fabric, you mm -hmm. know, that was never really my heart or my passion. But my clients, my heart and my passion was, oh, my clients, they love them. Oh, they have these wonderful, great experiences in them. You know, and I was like, as a manufacturer, I was missing that aspect of it. And so just recently, I don't know if this is what you're talking about, Brian, with the product, but I started another company, Bubble Cottages Sholo LLC, which I'm at right now. I bought, I put 500000 into investment on my own to, you know, develop my own site, put down my own training center. My heart really is, is to be one-on-one -on -one with not only the people who host, I want to be there and intimately involved with them, but also, you know, have a part in it, not only, you know, as their coach and their mentor and helping them be successful in building their their little businesses or big businesses too. I'm working on another project in Colorado that is big. Of course you are. You guys are always working on mm -hmm. things. Yeah. And so, you know, my heart is to work with other landowners and to like partner up with them and help them to really be successful and to be part of, you know, creating that experience when people come to a bubble hut. It's not just, oh, it's a room or whatever, but I want people to leave transformed. That's what I always say. I'm like, I want them to leave changed, you know, going and sleeping in nature and being surrounded by nature and seeing the stars. I mean, I've met so many people since living in Phoenix that have never even seen the stars. And it's like appalling to me. I'm like, what? What do you mean? So it's just been, you know, my heart's passion really is moving now into this direction that I'm moving into with Bubble Cottages. I'm still Bubble Huts. I'm still manufacturing. I don't manufacture anymore for the glamping hospitality to the public. Instead, I partner with the public but I will sell the product on the event side still for individuals, but I'm excited. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I'm just, I'm like, I'm stepping out in faith and believing this is the next, you know, little turn in my journey with my business and see where we go from here. I'm excited though. I know I have so many cool opportunities. I, I'm just, I, I wish I had five more lives. <laughs> yeah. hey, Terry, Terry and Tosh talk about being inside one of her, 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 the hut that she bought out. What was that like? Explain that well, to Jennifer I was able and Sarah. To, yeah, I was able to do, um, I mean, one of, my, one of the things that I do for Brian is I do um, celebrity interviews. 
and uh, red carpet red carpet hosting and so i was able to interview some of the guests at our super bowl party in the bubble huts and that was awesome it was like a little room where you can go in it, it's quiet in there we had uh, the enviro cleanse um air purifier in there um it was really nice we had like little couches in there it's like a little like little apartment kind of in there um but there's what I want to add though is there's so many uses for the bubble hut. Like you can have it mm-hmm. just to entertain in your backyard. Um, you can use it for camping. I mean, I'm really thinking of getting one just to have in my backyard, just so I can sit out there and look at the stars. You know, yeah. it's to, and and maybe take the little dogs out there. You know, they would probably love it. But yeah, there's so many uses for it. Um, it's it's a really kind of a neat experience to be in there and be able just to see everything. And I, I don't know, I, I really would like to go camping in one eventually. That's kind of one of my goals this year is to do that. Um, so anyway, well, that's I hope my experience. In July, you can come. <laughs> yeah. Amy, you know, I was thinking about you the other day because I was like going through my YouTube and I was like looking at like videos of like festivals. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought like um, partnering like with like Coachella or like with Burning Mm -hmm. Man and doing like, you know, those VIP glamping bubble huts? Because I feel like that would be so like Mm -hmm. amazing and like people would love that because like, you know, you get to see the event, you get to Mm -hmm. like be part of it, but you're also like, you know, in your own little space, your cute little Mm -hmm. stuff. So I was, I I don't know if you've ever done it, but you know, just the, Yeah, I I definitely have thought about all that. There's just a little bit more logistics to all of that, that I'd have Mm -hmm. to have a whole nother team helping with that. But I thought, you know, having parties out in the desert, you know, little Yes, like that would be perfect for Burning Man. Like that, I literally was like, oh my God, Bubble Huts needs to be in Burning (laughs) Man because Mm -hmm. that would be just freaking phenomenal. (laughs) Tosh, I was Excellent. thinking the same thing. So I have a friend that actually installed a very interesting thing in the Joshua tree when I lived out in California. And it's mm-hmm. a, like a very, it's like a pod, right? Like a little, little, you know, a small, tiny little pod. And so I was thinking Burning Man, I'm going to talk about this later, something I'm working on, but people come from all over and they want to have somewhere to stay mm-hmm. before and after festivals mm-hmm. and Coachella and they would love that mm-hmm. I guarantee it would be like part of the experience and I could probably help you out with some folks that are connected uh, to those festivals so let's you and I sync up after okay. if you want to go that route okay See, well, we and, and, for sure. and Sarah it was one of those things where I did talk to Steve about it because I met Steve through Terry mm-hmm. oh, Terry's okay. known Steve yeah. follow for the longest time uh, I know about Steve having like that 20 those years babes and <laughs> love that yeah, I've been hey, friends um, with Steve for 20 years. But I was friends with Steve before I even did that. I met him in Manhattan Beach like 20 years ago. So just a little background on that. Hey, Howard, talk about uh, for the audience and for uh, you have never met Amy. You've met Sarah. Talk about what you do, what you did this past weekend, because you look like you were busy. Oh, uh, you muted. it. Oh. Yeah, we lost yeah. your volume. Oh, Still he's here. on mute. <laughs> hey, let's go to Tosh. Hey, Howard, come back and get your sound back on. Tosh, go ahead. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. So nice to have Amy and Sarah back. And so nice to meet you, Jennifer. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so yeah. I'm Natasha Rumbos. I am a um, singer-songwriter from Miami. And I recently had just uh, released... Um, my newest single, which is called Hang Yad. It's a very fun song to like, very summer song, um, kind of to listen to it while you're getting ready to like, you know, go out and enjoy your day. It's kind of like a, a hype song and it's a, uh, I love it so much. It's been doing so great. I actually got um, this morning a notification from one of my PR teams in South America and it's doing really good in Venezuela. It's one of the, it's on number mm. eight in one of the top 10 songs over there on the radio. So it's pretty, pretty exciting to hear that and, and see the, where, you know, I, I just, I started this about four years ago, like doing my own original music. So it's, it's been nice to see, you know, the journey mm-hmm. that I've been going through and kind of seeing all these accomplishments, you know, building up. And I'm, I'm very proud with the way my sound is going. And I'm, 
I'm, I'm excited for what the future uh, has to hold. I've been doing a lot of cool podcast interviews and getting to know, like, you know, people in the industry that, you know, want to, like, help me grow, which is really, really nice. And, um, yeah, I would love for you to hear it. If you haven't listened to it yet, it's on my um, website, natasharumbosmusic.com, but you could also see the video on YouTube. And there is a dance challenge. And, Terry, I would love for you to do the dance challenge, okay? Because oh, I would love to dancing. do it, yes. <laughs> you're always dancing on TikTok. And it's I, I'm going to send it to you after, but it's a, such a fun, mm -hmm. fun little 30-second dance challenge. So, yeah, so we are hanging out. I'm, I'm down. Hey, Howard, did we get your sound back? Ooh, still can't hear you. Click out and come back on. Terry, go ahead. Oh, I have to plug something today. So um, this is one of our sponsors, um, Heavenly Sweets. Um, I, oh, yes. I, my, brother's, my brother's too shy to do a testimonial, so I'm going to do a testimonial for my brother. My brother has... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sarah... What? When I see Terry the next day or something, <laughs> she's got yours. <laughs> That's what I said. So don't worry about it. She's got them. I'm so excited. Thank you. Terry, she's been asking about so, it for the longest time. Oh, this is Terry's photo what? this week. Go ahead. Heavenly Sweet. Okay, yeah. That's, that's from, oh, yeah, that's from one of the um, uh, Golden let me see. Parties. Let me see that photo, yeah. Rebel. I haven't seen this one, I don't think. I like that. She just looks okay, yeah. doesn't she? <laughs> uh, I clean up well when I'm not wearing my glasses and look like a nerd. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Heavenly Sweets. Okay, so my brother has issues with his eyes. Um, and me and my brother are now partnering, partnering together. Because like, everybody knows I've been working on my NFTs, but it kind of got put on hold because of my mom's health. So now we're going to take my NFTs and we're going to create a video game. So my brother is having issues, you know, because he is a – he's created stuff for um, – Several movies. He, he did like the animation, not animation, but he did the artwork for Battlestar Galactica, for Van Helsen. He's worked on several movies. So, anyway, we're partnering up, but he started taking these and he said they're helping him for his eyesight. Mm -hmm. He said, he came in my room and he's like, oh my God, I can see so much clearer. And it didn't get him like high. He just took one. He takes one every day and he said it's helping his eyesight. And then I found out that mm -hmm. the THC helps with glaucoma. And eye issues because it's anti-inflammatory. So I just wanted to let everybody know that they're having issues with their eyes, like dry eyes. Um, you might want to try these out. So that there's that. Um, and then Brian. So I, 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 I have to have some. I, this is why I need to see Terry. I send all the product to her house when I'm out of town so she feels good about things. And I've been wanting to have that because my eyesight is going from watching too many bad movies, obviously. <laughs> That's the yeah, what well, really see. does? It, well, he's just saying that it's it's night and day that like because he said his vision changes and that sometimes it's better that sometimes he can see better than other times and he just said this is really helping him, which for me is helping me too because I need him to help me to create this video game. So that's my new project along with my fitness stuff and trying to do hosting. I'm getting back out. I mean, as everybody knows, I had to take some time off because um I had to deal with my mom's health, but I'm starting to build up my brand again which is going to be just based on my lifestyle, you know, for women over 40, for fitness, um, fitness, travel, health, and business, because I'm also an investor, and I'm going to be helping my friend with his cryptocurrency class. So I'll probably be doing some YouTube videos with him for that. So that's what I've been up to. So watch out. You're going to see a lot more of me. Howard, did we get your volume back again? Oh, no, it's, we still can't hear you. Mm. I'll throw in no. while we're waiting on Howard. I I just wanted to say that I loved uh, what you said about the bubble huts and helping people mm -hmm. and doing it for people and having such a passion for that. I feel like when you have a passion for something mm -hmm. that you it just drives you from a deeper level and when I talk about my inventions, you know, it can sound so dry, you know, medical all medical mm -hmm. that you, this idea and you did this invention, but it, it's always spurred by mm -hmm. something in me at least that wants to change lives and wants, wants to essentially add something positive out into the world. My, that invention that I talked about where you can put a wireless electrode on a calf or a shoulder or some part of the body mm -hmm. that has residual nerve function and have that person engage in life 
came from a 24 year old athlete named Corey Collins. He allowed me to use his name and tell his story, but he was a, a wonderful athlete who was teaching gymnastics to kids in Arlington, Texas. And he flipped wrong and mm -hmm. fell on his neck and then got diagnosed with quadriplegia. And when I would go to do therapy with him, he was depressed and he would cry mm -hmm. out, would tell me how stressful and sad it was to try to do physical therapy when you couldn't move. And he mm -hmm. asked me one day, isn't there something like a game that I can compete? I can try to move and engage the game because I cannot have them come in my room and ask me to lift my arm and I can't. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I told him there is nothing. And he said, can you make one something? And I said, yes. And that was years ago, over 15 years ago when I started that process, but it was driven by this 24 year, year old patient of mine so I understand the passion behind that. You know, my um, my first song, Onward, I'm a songwriter. I've written songs since five years old, but I'm also introverted. So I'm like, I'm good, you know. Until like, you until you dance, Jennifer. <laughs> I, I don't know. Right, I, right, Howard? I don't know. You know, when yeah. you're dancing in the group, you're it's still in the group. <laughs> no, 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 no. I watched, I literally, sir, I literally sat down and I was just fascinated watching her and her husband and Howard dance. It was yeah. the best thing that I could see. Well, she Howard, had the slender dress on and Howard was doing his thing. Her husband was having such a great time and I had fun just watching them. And I think that's, that, that's why I like Howard because it's just so fun. And then Jennifer... It's I so can just fun. never stop talking about that. And I saw Natasha, Natasha, I watched one of your videos, your music videos. It's so amazing. Speaking of dancing. Oh, Lord, thank you. Which one? Yeah. Which one? I'm curious. It's so amazing. So I don't know. I can't think of the name right now because I'm nervous on this show, but this is <laughs> me introvert. But I, I will. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yes, Rebel. <laughs> you're on the street. You're on the street with the other two ladies around. Okay, you. so yeah, so that I, that's how I'm yeah. That is it. Mm. Wait, Rebel, play the play the video because I think it might. Llegó el viernes y queremos salir. Vivamos el weekend pasado en repeat. Traigo a la nena pa' prender esta vaina. Somos las primeras en la pista sin falta. Pa arriba, pa' abajo, pa' el centro y pa' adentro. Ese yo me calento el cuerpo. Bandolera, bandolera, bandolera. Así me pongo cuando pierdo la cabeza. Salió la natilla perrear allá en su pareja. Yes, yes, it is. I love that. And, and, and so I, I went from writing a song for a friend, again, just something special for a friend. His name is Patrick. He had experienced racism. So I wrote a song for him. And that turned into him asking me to sing it. And that turned into me doing a music video for the first time ever, which was super strange with cameras and all the things. Um, but if anybody's interested, <laughs> they're on my website, Lepidoptera Music Global. Uh, and um, it's Lepidoptera Music Global.org because it's part of my nonprofit efforts. And uh, again, back to the butterfly, I function as a performer mm -hmm. as Lepidoptera. I'm Jen but my performance name is fancier than me. And um, these <laughs> videos have been really fun and I feel like I've grown in confidence and you're so fun, Natasha. Like I, I was like, I should be friends with Natasha and we should <laughs> try to do a song or something, you know, just for fun. I love I mean, why not? I love, I well, love so, all right. So, all right, Tosh, this is what happened. I told her back in maybe October before we went to Tennessee and hung out with Howard uh, and everybody and Vince that you guys should team up. That was back then. Uh, yeah. So you remember? Mm -hmm. So and then Tosh didn't know she, she couldn't make it. And we hadn't met Sarah mm -hmm. yet. And uh, Ter Terry couldn't come. But it was one of those things. So we had that get together. So that's where it kind of went in. But eventually it comes into time to come like that. Howard, did we get your volume back? I think we did, right? Howard, oh. is he frozen now? Are you there? 
Yes. Say something. Yes. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm here. Power. I'm here. Power talk. All right. Go ahead. All right. Talk about what you what you did this last weekend. What you're wearing. What that All art right. is in the back. Go ahead. I'm in the living room. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Yes. I'm uh in the living room. Got my pearls. Got my cowboy hat on. Oh, <laughs> no, he disappeared. All right. All right, Sarah, take it up. So, Tara, how was the white party? And you have something that I'm not sure you can maybe talk about. Have, I'll leave that to you. Yeah. I have a lot of surprises for y'all that you don't even know, Brian, that I didn't get to talk to you about. The white party was great. It was benefiting homeless animals, Project Fashion Tales. Um, if any of y'all are in L.A. and know the Babes in Toyland family, I am part of yep, that. So, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yep, perfect. So it was a smashing success. Uh, beautiful people, beautiful cause. Couldn't be happier. Um, and in addition to that, I have very recently, and I'm talking in the past couple of days, become affiliated with this phenomenal artist who does this beautiful digital art, kind of like the LED you touch it, it lights up. And he was very recently at a <clears throat> famous person's island. I won't say who. Anyhow, it's he's doing phenomenal work. And so I'm starting to run all of his operations for about seven different products, one being a light and music show that's going to be at Burning Man potentially this year. You'll see us. We're working on that, some other festivals. He just showed an art with me. Tosh, you know that. And so there's also some other things. It's very aligned spiritually with chakras. And it's a long mm -hmm. story. I won't get, get into that oh, one. A lot of really beautiful, like heart-centered, changing the world is the goal of, you know, raising the vibration of everyone by this beautiful artwork and by also um, bringing together divine masculine feminine couples as well mm. for retreats and things like that. So it's a little interesting. It's something I haven't done before. Um, but my other surprise is singing, which I know you know I was a professional dancer, Brian, but I also was a professional singer myself back in the day. Um, I'm older than I look. I'm talk about that. But I am working <laughs> <laughs> and I, mine's much more on a, the electronic side. So mm. I might be flying out to Europe to work with a producer in the near future. Very excited. That's been my dream since I was very small to to be singing on tracks and, and be out there. So I'm finally pursuing that. Um, still doing the business stuff, still doing the operational stuff, but now I'm going after at the singing as well too. I said, you know, why not? Life is short. So I'm not a writer, but I've got um, some folks that I'm working with that we're, we're working on potentially co-producing. And I hope that by the next time we all talk that that's in the works officially, but um, that's kind of my, my, my latest news. But this other project is going to be stunning. It's just the technology. It's augmented reality, virtual reality, art, work, mm -hmm. events, lights, music. Um, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So I cannot wait to share that with you all next time. It's very new. But hopefully you see it at Burning Man. And maybe I'll see you there too, Amy. Well, yeah. the good thing is that we got two songwriters. And then obviously <laughs> glamping would go on with writer. that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, 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 well, I, well, I said, Tashi, but hold on. We got to get Howard because I don't want him to disappear again. Go ahead, Howard. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. Can you hear me now? Yes. Me now? Yes. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Howard Wiggins. Uh, uh, I'm got a movie coming up called who's going to take care of me with uh catherine Pacino, which is al Pacino's stepmother is going to be in it paul williams is going to be in it uh i'm just waiting to hear it so i can go do my part in playing the emergency room doctor so uh that's coming up i've got another tv thing that's supposed to be like a twilight zone episode that will be coming up that i can't tell you anything more about it but brian knows <laughs> and uh, so, uh, hey, talk I'm about those pearls. Howard, those pearls look beautiful. Uh, well, thank you. Just white pearls, double strand. Just to, mm -hmm. And actually, this shirt has pearls in it. It's a Gucci. Oh, wow. But if you can see it closer, it has like awesome. a pearl design. In it. So, anyway. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm Howard is so pearls. fabulous. He is. He is. I was. I was talking about him this weekend at the Electrify Expo. All right, uh, Rebel. We can show a couple photos. So, uh, Amy, this is um, Joanna Hoffman. Uh, she's the one that has the living vehicle, the all electric vehicle, which is takes the place of an RV. Um, uh -huh. Obviously, my Okai scooter. But this this company is going to be involved with what we're doing too. Uh, Crop me. I like those. Um, 
especially for people who have balance problems, want to help them mm -hmm. out so they can have fun too. Obviously, my riding style and where I put balance seven water in there and Howard, yours is on the way. I don't know if you got it yet, but it's on the way. So the good thing about all of that stuff was it was fun. It was a tiring weekend. I missed tearing Terry there. She was busy doing things. But you know what? We can't all make everything. And then, yeah, I did one interview with one mm -hmm. of the people there at the expo, which was good. Met the founders. And yesterday was the Jewish Film Festival. Met the vice, senior vice president at Walmart for all those people who want to get things in Walmart. She's the person. I'm not even going to mm -hmm. tell you who her name is because people have been hitting me up. But she's the one that gets the go-ahead for all of those things. And obviously, I still don't go anywhere without my air. My own personal uh, purifier that kills SARS and COVID. So that's with that. Oh, and Charles Fox, got to talk about that while he's up there. So everybody's heard the Happy Days, Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. um, Laverne and Shirley theme. He came up with that. His mm -hmm. name is Charles Fox. His documentary was there at the Jewish Film Festival. He also wrote Killing Me Softly. You guys are singers wow. by Roberta Flack. He wrote that wow. in France. Wow. And then it went to the American Airlines. He used to play on American Airlines back in the day. She saw it. Called some called Quincy Jones. <laughs> Quincy Jones called him, and she ended up singing that song. And that song, "Killing Me Softly," everybody around the world still sings it. Even the Simpsons have had it. <laughs> so it was a documentary on him, and then he was performing for us, uh, which was really really cool. great. He also did the Jim Crow song. Um, what was the name of it? Uh, oh, I got a name. That one. So. It was good to see that. And all, yeah, Hal Linden was there. You remember him from Barney Mem uh, Miller? Mm -hmm. He was there too. So it was fun to see a couple of friends and they hadn't been in person since 2019. Uh, we got about seven minutes left, obviously. And I didn't go anywhere without my balance seven water. So that kept me going. Jennifer, talk about this. What is it that, because you have that doctor in your title of your name, what does that feel like when you went to, because you're a brainiac too. School is important for you, but the arts are really important. Yes, and I feel like you can merge the two. There's a woman that I follow, her name is Lisa Russell, and she does filmmaking for the United Nations, and she uses music videos and art to try to change the world, and she brings artists together internationally. So she and I have kind of been connecting because that's my dream is to change the world through my music and through art. And my, I got my PhD in 2019, so that I could do research to help people die better. My research is on mm. palliative medicine. It is designed uh, in summary to try to help make a more beautiful death for those patients who cannot swallow. And so we're deciding whether or not to let them eat with risk or put a feeding tube in. That's my research. And mm. I, 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 so as you can tell, there's a trend in me, there's a pattern in me of just trying to do big things to help people. But what I really want in this life is just to help people uh, at the end of their life. That's one of my main goals. And as a songwriter, I don't really desire to be anything hugely special as myself, but I want my songs and my music to do something special. So I, I would love if anybody can help me to sing one of my songs at the Bluebird Cafe. That's a dream of mine. Um, or yeah. if anybody wants to sing one of my songs, who is bigger than me, because I just want to sit at my patient's bedside helping my patient while a song that I wrote does powerful things. Jennifer, by you saying that, that's, that's exactly what Charles Fox said last night. Uh, everybody knows from Laverne and Shirley, Seville, Cheville, he explained mm -hmm. what that means. I'm not even going to try to explain it, but I do have the video of him saying it. But it was very interesting because people wonder how do you write the lick first or whatever, but he, he talked about how he did things and it was fascinating. Mm -hmm. Amy, I'm coming to you in a minute. So Sarah, talk about this. What do you not get enough credit for? Because you do a lot of stuff from women empowerment as that investor, as that entrepreneur yourself. You do a lot of things. You know, it's not even about the credit. It's more about just like you were just talking about. Um, I am to the point where I want to change the world as well. And I also want to, you know, my, my artist asked us the other day, what's your mission and purpose in life? And then your personal mission and purpose that makes you happy, that lights you up inside. 
Um, so lately, you know, I've got Miami swimming coming up. I've done modeling, whatever. That's fine. It's fun. It's beautiful. But my my passion is singing. So I'm going for that. And then this other work that I'm doing is going to potentially change the world. And so I think that's the biggest thing that we can do right now is is there's a lot of mental health there's a lot of um, people struggling. And so my work and my entrepreneurship and my coaching and all that from a business perspective, um, even if it's just a way to make your day easier, time management, even on a personal level, mm. you know, I, I think that that's one thing that people don't speak up enough about. They don't ask for help. I know myself personally, I never asked for help. I was like, I can do this. It's fine. <laughs> Women are kind of taught mm -hmm. to just do and be strong and do everything and and not that men aren't but we carry a lot of loads in different ways and i think the society is changing more towards feminine energy and i said energy purposefully it's already there already yeah. there it's, we're it's, supposed it's to be so here just to support you women no honestly it's it's men are protectors providers we support as well if we are harmonious and in balance then we can do amazing things and what i write about in the ariana article and if you read it it's all about um you know what's what do you do if someone's a, cautiously doesn't want to approach you or they're you know maybe they're a little like cautious um it's things like that it's it's making sure people feel safe and secure to be able to come and say hey look i'm struggling or i need help or i just want to do this better um and if i can even impact one person's day every day then i've done my job and if i can impact multiple mm -hmm. people that's that's amazing so my goal right now is really to impact as many people as i can in whatever way they need whether it just be making their life more balanced and more stress-free so they can enjoy themselves and their partners and their children and their family or to um, to be able to pursue their dreams, right? We have limitless possibilities and our lives are only so much. So we have to do everything we can. That's kind of where I'm at right now, Brian. That sounds like talk the, about it. So Brian, that's where I'm at right <laughs> now. No, no, it's, that, that's, that's all important because you get, you get pegged as one thing sometimes and all you women and including Howard, everybody does different things, but they, I, I get criticized for not talking about enough movies on movie reviews and more. It's about <laughs> going on. I, I do. I had someone turn me down for being in, in a critics organization. Oh, I see you talking about everything but movies because you have to be able to adapt and adjust and go on to the mm -hmm. next stage of your life. You can't, if you're and still like, doing what you did hello? five years ago, it's not working. <laughs> exactly. I said, and, but, the, but they didn't say anything about 15 million views and counting. No, you weren't talking about enough movies. And I said, okay, I'll be back to you. You watch and see what I do next. Mm -hmm. But yeah, with that, good. Amy, give the last words, social media sites, why people should support, go and follow you on and what you're doing. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm Amy of Bubble Huts. I am the manufacturer of a U.S. trademarked brand of a glamping structure. I'm now moving into doing partnerships, joint ventures with landowners, because I want to be involved. I want to help. I want to mentor and coach the hosts. I want to be able to help create that experience that when a guest leaves, they're transformed just by mere sleeping under the stars in nature. That's my desire. My website for my glamping, I don't have my other stuff up completely yet, but it's bubblehuts.com. Or you can look up Bubble Cottages, Sholo. I don't. I have an Instagram right now. I've started, um, but right now I'm building out my site. So I'm. She's <laughs> doing a lot of stuff with electricity and decks and building. I'm doing land development. So uh, I'm I'm wow. right there right now. But I'm looking forward to working with more and more people. I hope to bring inspiration to other people. I want to bring success into the lives of other people. I want to be a light, really, into people's mm -hmm. lives and into the world as well. So that's me. Tosh, give you social media links. It's uh, uh, Bubble Huts. That, uh, just Bubble Huts. You can look up Bubble Huts, Bubble Huts LLC, BubbleHuts.com. You'll find me. I'm everywhere. Tosh? 
Perfect. So, vocally Tosh on all social media platforms. Make sure to check out Hangyar and do the dance challenge. You can find it on my Instagram. You can find it on YouTube, TikTok, or honestly, just go to my website, natasharoombosmusic.com, and you will find everything that you need. And, you know, this is a long weekend coming up, and I'm mm -hmm. super excited because I'm going to be putting my song everywhere I go <laughs> on this weekend because it's like, you know, it's, it's meant to be, you know, hanging out and, you know, enjoying your weekend, mm -hmm. long weekend. So, yeah, check check it out. Hang yeah. Sarah, social media links. Yeah, so it is This Is Sarah Baker on Instagram and then my whole link tree is there. And keep uh, your eyes out for, it's called Flow City. Uh, that's just the overarching work that I'm doing with the light show. If anyone knows anyone that's interested in, in investing in something that's, you know, super future forward as well as changing the world, let me know. I'm working on partnerships as well. Uh, but yeah, Instagram, this is Sarah with an H, Baker. That's me. Jennifer? Um, so my music website is lepidoptromusicglobal.org and Facebook is at lepidoptromusicglobal and I am on Instagram. Uh, I would share with you also my nonprofit website is being built. It's not perfect. It's out there, but we're still working on it. But it is storytellerandtheworld.org and it is a site where Therapists, doctors, and nurses provide medical education virtually worldwide. And it is that nonprofit for which my music business serves as the artistic arm. So that's that's my stuff. Terry? Uh, Terry Marie, uh, official.com is my website where I've got some of my fitness stuff on, some of my uh, hosting videos, um, some modeling stuff, and then all my social media platforms our nonstop Terry Marie. Howard. Howard Wiggins, Facebook. And Brian, how many dances do I have on the uh, <laughs> uh, James Brown You're, dance? you're, you're officially at 170,000 and counting right now. <laughs> okay. I want got to get it up to two. <laughs> exactly. And we gotta, I'm, we're got we going to leave with this, the Dreamweaver Artist Ranch, Paradise Fine. Go ahead, Rebel. So I want to thank everybody, and hey, have a good night tonight, a better day tomorrow. If you see someone without a smile, please give them one of yours, because the world definitely needs it. I'm Brian Sebastian. This is Movie Reviews and More, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys.